Hey guys, it is me, Happy Star Weekend, the second stage of the New Year update and Donna Zombie Survival has finally begun. At the base here, we have the Strider Saint that we can get these keys. And with these special keys, we'll be able to open up here some awesome chests and these chests are gonna have some great rewards. We can get these keys by doing daily tasks and searching enemies. And on top of that, we have this New Year in the Territories event. We can get points by killing enemies. And for those points, we'll be able to get these awesome chests. Inside of this chest, we'll be able to get some weapons, some healing items. And before we start checking out all of those things, I'd love to give a huge thanks to Donna Zombie Survival for a spot sponsoring this video. And if you've never heard of Donna Zombie Survival, then you're in for a treat because Donna Zombie Survival is a really awesome mobile survival game. Link is down in the description. It has great gameplay, awesome graphics, and really frequent updates. I'm sure you're gonna love it. And what we're also gonna love is gifts for Christmas. So check this out. For the next seven days, we'll be able to get here daily gifts. I've already collected two of my rewards. And on day seven, we'll be able to get this cryo gun that almost has 2,900 strength. So let's start our adventure by going to these iron wastelands. And I brought here a bunch of frozen weapons to this location. I also brought this frozen staff, ice shadow staff. So we're going to be checking that stuff as well. So I'm kind of curious how many points we can get here inside of the green zone. Then we're going to check out the yellow zone and then we'll go all the way up to the red zone. Okay, so here we get two of those points. Let's deal with the Undertaker. Probably we're still going to get two points. Let's maybe find a bit bigger enemy and let's see how many points we can get from a bigger enemy here. We still get two points. And there got another Undertaker. Still, we've gotten here two points. And in this new year in the Territories event, we can get 4,600 points per day. We've already gotten here 10 points. And for 20 points, we'll be able to get this chest. And then for 500 points, we can get another chest. So I'll try to get 500 points today, but we'll see how it's going to go. And there we go. There was an Undertaker. The guy had over 1,000 health. So are we still going to get only two points? Or will we get more? Okay, this time we've gotten 24 points. That is way better. There we go. We can already collect one of these rewards. Let's claim the reward. It went to storage. We're gonna open that stuff a bit later. All right, so bigger enemies obviously give us more loot. So that is great to hear. Look at this Undertaker also gave us 24 points and we've got uh, a few season pass points. And we can open up our season pass over here. So let's claim all of our rewards. There we go. Let's claim that. All of the rewards were sent to the storage. And let's also loot these bodies because they can drop us keys. And I think we can get 20 keys per day. So let's get those. There we go. This is a third key. I just want to make sure that I'm not bamboozling you. Yes, you can get 20 keys per day. Today for killing enemies, you can still get 17 keys. Today we've gotten three keys. So yes, we can get 20 keys per day there we go that's a fourth key and perhaps we can get one more key there we go we've gotten six keys already that is cool so it's not that hard to get these keys and we're still just in a green zone okay so let's go a bit further let's deal with a few of these shard uh, maybe let's try to use this eyeshadow staff let's see how that's gonna work let's see if it's any good or not there we go there is an undertaker we're doing 300 and something damage with this staff you know what maybe in this green zone we're gonna try to use this staff it's not that bad. We don't have to use our weapons all the time. Our guns, I mean, all the time. Let's deal with this dagger and perhaps let's start searching these enemies because I keep forgetting to loot them. And we got to get those keys to open up the boxes. There we go. Let's start looting the enemies. There we go. We've gotten more keys and even more keys. Okay, so these keys are not that rare. They're not that hard to get. I thought maybe every like third or fourth enemy is going to drop us these keys, but it looks like almost every enemy has keys. That's great. That is good to hear. So I want to see how many keys we've already gotten. We've gotten 11 keys. Cool. And we have 59 keys already. So we'll be able to open up a few of these boxes today. And as I like to say, that is bloody lovely. I'm never going to say no to some loot. Okay, so this enemy did not drop anything. So it doesn't really look like they always drop those keys. But these keys are not that rare. And we've just leveled up the Strider's Pass. So we're going to loot this guy. We haven't gotten any keys here. Let's go to the Strider's Pass. And let's claim some more rewards. There we go. Let's claim that. It went to our storage. There we go. We've dealt with one more chart. We've got in here just some rags. I'll take those. And it looks like we're going to leave this place. And let's go now to our yellow zone. Let's see how many points we can get from that yellow zone. And as I said, you can also get these keys by doing daily quests. So we're going to try to kill a few of those enemies in special events. Because over here, we've gotten this besieged house event. So we're going to go there. But before we go there, as I said, I want to go and check out yellow and green zones first. Oh no, there is an aberration. Luckily, I have have something to throw at it uh, I'll quickly probably heal up I'll get those throwable items and let's try to throw that stuff at the mad firefly we go one throw another throw one more throw and there we go we dealt with that mad firefly while we're looting it let's get back my healing items and let's see what this mad firefly gave us okay so some some of those throwable items I'll definitely get them and also get that scrap metal never gonna say no to some good old scrap metal we have here one more out of decay and I didn't see how many points they give okay so we still got in two points so probably it all depends on how much health those enemies have there we go there's this devotee decayer I'm pretty certain it's gonna give 24 points oh well we just smacked this guy we've also gotten 24 points there's beef beef is gonna give us some more points like a thousand points 
A thousand damage in here. We've gotten 36 of those points. Okay, that's great. Not gonna say no to that. And it looks like this melee weapon is really awesome. This melee weapon is just perfect against these enemies. Let's deal with one more of those guys. Oh no, another mad firefly. I'm kind of curious how many points do we get from those mad fireflies. Let's quickly get the throwable items and let's throw that stuff at the mad firefly. There we go. One throw, another throw, and one more throw. Okay, we've gotten only 10 season pass points, but we've gotten nothing else because that throwable weapon is not a frozen item. So that's why we're getting nothing. Okay, so our armor is going to break quite soon, but I luckily I brought another one. So everything's under control. <laughs> everything's planned here. There you go. Let's loot the body and let's see how many keys I can still get. We, we've probably gotten around 10 keys now. In the ice trial, we have gotten 10 keys. Yes, indeed. So we still can get 10 more keys. So we still should be looting these bodies. There we go. We got nine keys left to go. There we go. One more key, a little bit of water. And probably let's go a bit lower. But before we go lower, let's get another healing item. And let's keep searching for bodies. There we go. Another devotee care. Just two points. And this guy's gonna give us two points as well. Okay, so probably soon we're gonna leave this place. And yeah, I'm kind of excited to see the amount of points we're gonna get from those red zones. Let's loot the body. And here we've gotten more keys. Wow, so soon we're gonna hit the limit. Soon we're gonna get 20 of those keys and then we'll be only able to get more points from the daily tasks. Okay, let's deal with one more chart and that's it. Then we're probably gonna leave this place. We're gonna get about 24 points. Yes, indeed. And now let's go to a red zone. Yeah, it's about time we left this place. Let's go now to a red zone. And now we're located in this red zone. Let's see how many points we're gonna get. We've gotten here 36 points as well and we've just leveled up. That is awesome. And speaking of levels, we are now level 86. Say so little by little, we are leveling up. And yes, indeed, we are getting some more points here in this red location. Like these simple zombies already give us 36 of those points. So that is bloody lovely. Let's get everything. Let's get some more keys. I don't think there are many more keys left for us. We need to get only one more key and that's it. Then we'll be done with collecting keys from those zombies. Then they'll stop dropping them. And the only way to get those keys, as I said, is going to be from daily tasks. So we're going to try to do a few of those daily tasks as well. Nope, we've gotten nothing from that body. So there are lots of enemies. Maybe it would be better to use guns. But you know what? This melee weapon is kind of decent. And I like it. I want to test it. I want to use it. There we go. Let's deal with this beef. Uh, and I'm pretty certain we'll still get only 36 points. Yeah, it looks like 36 points is the maximum amount of points that we can get. There we go. This is the last key that we can get today. And look at that. We've already gotten over 500 points to be exact. We've gotten 674 points. So we can already open up both of these chests. There we go. Let's claim the reward. So we've just unlocked here three perseverance rewards. And for that, we've completed one daily quest. So here we're going to get four extra of those winter keys. There we go. Let's collect that. Here we've gotten another daily quest. And in this new task, we have to kill 10 enemies in the aberrated areas. Okay, understandable. Have a nice day. Plus, we've got another box here. So we're definitely going to be opening up lots of chests today. And now let's go to this besieged house event. We have here enough weapons for it. And we also should have here enough healing items. So without any further ado, let's talk to these guys here. And let's start doing this event. The bandits are approaching. Think you can handle them. Go inside, honey. I'm going to fight. Yes, indeed. Let's help all of them out. Sadly, he didn't call me, honey. Wish he said that I should hide and he's gonna protect me. <laughs> I just get free loot. That'd be better. There we go. Let's deal with these guys. Oh, they also give us here points. That is great because we still need to get more points to, to unlock other rewards. Because we can still get these other rewards by getting more points. So let's get as many points as possible. And now we have to kill the raiders by the veggie patch. So let's deal with these guys. Maybe now I'm gonna switch to a different weapon. There we go. Let's just... Yeah, I think we're gonna switch to a different weapon perhaps. Let's get this frozen AK. And let's deal with those decayers. And more bandits are coming. There we go. We've dealt with 5 out of 10. Obviously more of these guys are gonna spawn. So these guys now have more health. Will they give us more points? No, they still give us two of those points. Who knows, maybe second, third, or fourth wave enemies will give us more points. But in any case, we're getting rewards from the farmer. So these frozen points that we are getting from these Zealot Decayers is just a bonus. And we've gotten here some more rewards from Daily Quest. There we go. Let's get four of those keys. And we've gotten another task here. Kill any boss in the arc. So for that, we're going to get four extra keys. And we have a little bit of radiation. Uh, well, I guess we'll just have to suck it up. Because there is nothing I can do about it here right now. I'm gonna try to do this task fully here. Let's deal with the rest of these decayers. And I think this is the last one. Because it's 4 out of 5. There go 5 out of 5. We fought them off. Come up here. There are ammo crates by the house. Go get them, please. Okay, so we're gonna try to get those ammo crates right now. Let's loot a few of these bodies. Let's get more tags. Even if they're cold tags. Okay, so I'm gonna wait until these guys go by. Oops. Some devotee decayers just saw me. Let's heal up real quick. Let's deal with it. And let's start opening up this box. Even if some of them see us, that's fine. I don't mind finding them. I'm gonna get these healing items. Yes, indeed. Probably all of them are gonna attack me here right now, but that's fine. As I said, I don't mind blasting them here. As 
this way we'll get some more of those frozen points look at this we've just gotten 24 of those points that's great we've just unlocked all of the rewards over here all righty we're gonna let's deal with the rest of these devil td carriers you know what i don't really don't mind fighting them maybe i'm gonna aggro them here on purpose just so that we get more points i'll keep opening up this box and hey, if they attack me they attack me that is fine i don't mind getting some more points there go this guy's gonna attack me now for no reason i didn't see how many points we've gotten there i'm pretty certain that was more than two points gotten more than two points there let's get those items and got one more devil to care and one more of these guys how many more of these enemies will there be <laughs> they, they don't stop spawning they go sleep permanently mate finally it's peaceful now we can open up this chest and get the shotgun shells for that guy we can get him some ammo let's take all of that and now let's loot the rest of the bodies and then we have to open up one more box up there and get the rest of the ammo as I said, we might go and deal with all of these guys here. It's fine. There we go. Goodbye, dude. We've gotten here 24 points. Perhaps we can use this weapon. It is a bit stronger. Let's try to test it out against these guys. Even though it's not that bad, it's not like we need to use it. That weapon was still fine. I just wanted to test this weapon here. I found it at the base, so I thought, why not take it and use it? There we go. Let's deal with more of those dealer the cares. Goodbye and goodbye. Yes, indeed. We've gotten here a decent amount of those points those new year points i'm pretty certain they're called new year points yes indeed today you can still get yes indeed i'm pretty certain they're called new year points and now there we go let's loot here the last box <laughs> i still can't loot it because of this devil td carrier there we go. let's heal up and let's take the rest of the loot here let's bring that stuff to the guy give the ammo to the houseman that's what we are gonna do there we go let's take that ammo great job here we've looted this from the dead bodies we've gotten here some sort of a box that went to the storage we're gonna definitely open that up destroy the gang's altar okay it's over here Let's probably deal with all of them here right now. How many points do we get from these guys? Probably 24 points as well. Yes, indeed. It looks like we do get here 24 points. So first of all, let's deal with all of these Zilla Decayers. And then we can deal with this altar. Not too bad. Yes, indeed, we can get here a decent amount of points. Seriously, not terrible. I'm going to destroy this altar first. There we go. We've just destroyed it. Now let's deal with a few of those enemies. There we go. Goodbye. And now we have to talk to the houseman, but... There are still enemies. I still, I'm, I'm gonna deal with them before we talk to him. Let's heal up. I've completely forgotten about my health here. Well, that's a lot of enemies. That is a lot of enemies. But I don't look at them as enemies. I look at them as those New Year points. <laughs> We're getting lots of points and plus points towards our season pass here. This is not over. We have angered their boss. Okay, so the boss is gonna be arriving in about 10 seconds. Before it's gonna arrive, I'll try to loot the bodies here. Let's get the rest of the loot. Go on. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's also heal up. I keep forgetting about healing up. There we go. Let's take everything. Let's heal up again. And we have one more body. And the boss is going to arrive right now. There we go. There's the boss. The boss has got to be here. Kill the boss's minions. Okay, so let's deal with these guys first. Goodbye, goodbye. And now we got the boss here. Nuclear Tours. The guy has had over probably 7,000 health. Okay, that's not a problem. We will get the schmuck. There we go. A few more attacks. And goodbye, Nuclear Tours. There we go. We just destroyed it. Now we just need to deal with one more minion. And is that it? Talk to the housewife. We're definitely going to talk to them. But before we do this, let's go. Let's loot everything. Let's get all of these rewards. So we've picked up all the loot. And now we have to talk to the housewife here. Let's talk to her. Pan Levkovic is interested in buying the carrier stag. He'll be right here with you. Okay, cool. We're definitely going to do that. And here with this farmer, we can exchange these basic tags for double decayer tags. Okay. And there we go. The trader here has appeared. And for those who do not know with this trader, you can exchange these decayer tags that we've gotten here for some awesome loot. And here we've gotten some more decayer tags in this altar. So let's pick all that stuff up. And now we'll be able to exchange 10 of those things. So let's get them. And there we go. We have 10 of those now double decayer tags. We had more of those double decayer tags at the base, but hey, that's fine. We've exchanged these ones. So let's get the box. And now it says you ran out of deals you can make another exchange after the assortment is refreshed so i think it's about time we went back to the base and we opened up a bunch of loot because we have a bunch of crates to open up now so we're back at the base and now let's start opening up these chests so we have here this big trophy crate let's open this crate up and i can already see that we've gotten here some armor some melee weapons some wires and here are these things and we still have here a bunch of other crates to open up so let's start opening up this boss's cargo inside of this boss's cargo we've gotten here a few healing items a few repair kits there we go there's the second boss's cargo here we've gotten some throwable items some more repair kits and there's the third bandit's cargo we've gotten some potatoes and seeds now we got this special reward crate and to open up this crate we need more space <laughs> all right so i've sorted out the inventory now let's open up the special reward crate and inside of the special reward crate we're gonna get lots of loot 
We've gotten some gold, some healing items, and that's not it. We've gotten here a bow, some scrap metal, and other things. But also inside of that chest, we've gotten rare materials crate. So let's open that stuff up. And inside of this rare materials crate, we've gotten these materials. And we got here one more New Year chest to open up. So let's open up this chest here. We've gotten some healing items, some armor, some food. And I just checked the storage. We have one more New Year chest to open up. So let's open it up. We've gotten here some guns, healing items. That's awesome. And also we can talk here to the Strider Santa at the base and let's get a few of these boxes. So let's open up one cargo and let's see what we can get here from this cargo. And enemies have just spawned at the shelter. Well, we've gotten here a decent amount of weapons. We've gotten some throwables, some guns. That is great. And I think it's time for us to open up some more of those crates. There we go. Let's open up one more. We still have here a decent amount of keys. Let's get that. We've gotten here some more guns, some more armor and food. There we go. Let's get that. And let's open up one more crate as we still had 25 extra keys or something. So let's open that up and let's see how many items we're gonna get here this time. More guns, more food more throwable items, more armor. That's great. So it looks like we've gotten lots of loot today for participating in this new year event. And once again, I'd love to give a huge thanks to Donna Zombie Survival for sponsoring this video. And if you'd like to check this game out yourself, link is down in the description. As you saw yourself, it's a really awesome mobile survival game. And I highly suggest you check it out my previous Donna Zombie Survival video or click here on the second card and you'll go to my the first ever Donna Zombie Survival video or hop over to my channel, go to playlist and there you'll find a lot of other games that I played here on the channel. If you're not subscribed yet, definitely make sure to jump a subscribe button and notification bell to not miss any future videos. And consider following me on Instagram or Twitter at Epicyric. Mm -hmm. Yep.